alfalfa I like to get. I also get the pelleted kind because it's a little smaller for horses to chew. I get the smaller one partially because Candy is a small horse. She has a small mouth and she doesn't like to chew the really big alfalfa cubes. I think the pelleted ones also absorb water a lot faster so if you're going to mix it with your beet pulp and you want it to get soft and you want it to absorb that water, pellets are just going to be a better choice. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is the kind of beet pulp as well as the alfalfa that I like to buy. Lots of choices, but I have to just tend to get the cheaper one. I guess it's this one right here, the Stanley. I like to get the pelleted beet pulp versus the loose beet pulp just because um, the pellets have smaller flakes. And when you get the loose stuff, you get some really big chunks of the beet pulp and horses don't really like it. And a lot of it ends up getting wasted. So something else that I also get sometimes if I'm really doing a lot of work with my horse and she might just need some extra calories, if I'm worried of her losing weight or just kind of not having enough energy for the workload, um, I'll also get some sweet cob. Pretty much it is a mix of different grains and corn um, with molasses. So easy sugars, quick energy, and I'll just mix that in with the alfalfa and the beet pulp. So it is fast sugar, so I try not to use a whole lot of it, and just a little bit of it isn't gonna hurt. So this is the kind I actually like to get. Line one for Sean, line one for Sean. So I usually get the producer's pride sweet cob. Tastes good to me, the horses like it, and it lasts a long time. Alrighty, the other thing I came here today to get is uh, this product called SWAT. Pretty much it is a fly repellent for the horses. I think it works a lot better than just fly spray because you can really coat it on a sponge or just on your hands and then you wipe it onto the horses and it just makes um, a lot uh, bigger of a barrier to the flies than just spray does. So it's the thing that I have found works best to really keep flies off of the horses, especially if they've got like a wound that the flies are just attacking and they're swarming all over it. I found that flies won't even move if I'm spraying them with fly spray but they'll definitely move if I'm like uh, really gonna put some SWAT on there. So definitely recommend SWAT. I get the clear kind. If you get the opaque kind, your horse is just gonna be coated in this white oil. Alrighty, so this is the SWAT clear I get. You guys can see it's about $13. It lasts a long time um, and I think it works really well. Wait, no, you have to keep it. Whoa, that looks crazy. Alright, last thing I need is just some ivermectin. Uh, this is just to worm the horses. Never really had a problem with worms um, with my horse, but try to do it pretty regularly um, just to potentially avoid colic. Pretty much that is when a horse is having some kind of pain in their gut, possibly small bowel obstruction, and it can get really severe sometimes. So I might actually make a video in the future of what colic is. I think that is like a big kind of mystery with horse people. What colic actually is, it's a very vague term, but that'll be something for the future. But for now, I'm just gonna grab some ivermectin. I actually try to just get the cheapest kind. It's usually around $4. This is what they've got right now. And um, I've used this one really often, so it works pretty well. Thanks you guys for coming with me to Tractor Supply. I'm gonna head back to the house. I think I got everything I needed here and always love coming here. So, all right, let's head out. Mm -hmm. 